Addressing a press conference in Mogadishu on Saturday, the special representative of the African Union Commission chairperson, SRCC for Somalia and head of AMISOM Ambassador Mamam S. Sidiku listed AMISOM priorities for the year 2015. The priorities include encouraging inclusive politics, gender mainstreaming, protection of civilians, human rights and championing of joint response mechanism, which includes improved coordination with development partners. Ambassador Sidiku said, Discussions have been ongoing among partners, especially the government and the United Nations Assistance Mission for Somalia, on adopting a common stance on issues safety and security. We also highlighted the need for AMISCOM, UNSCOM and the federal government of Somalia to improve our coordination, especially in the area of security and stabilization. In this regard, we will continue to work together to enhance our support for effective and community-based approaches to defense and security, so as not to lose the, the gains we made so far. Ambassador Sidiku stressed the need to boost the capacity of the Somali National Army, saying it is key to achieving sustainable peace in the country. We will also work together to address the urgent need to support the rebuilding of the Somali National Army through the organization and integration of local forces. We agreed to closely coordinate all our stabilization efforts for maximum effect and impact. Forward to this, we believe that it is critical for us to ensure access to the required areas by securing the main supply rules. He emphasized the need to recognize the role of women in the reconstruction of Somalia is not forgotten. Through its Gender, Child Protection and Human Rights Unit, AMISOM is to ensure awareness and gender protection of human rights across Somalia. We will enhance our engagement with UNSOM and relevant international human rights institutions, as well as with Somali government and non-governmental organizations, to ensure the protection of women and girls from all forms of violence. We will also be working to support women to increase their participation in politics, especially the constitutional review, state formation and election, election process. On the current political developments in Somalia, Ambassador Sidiku appealed to all stakeholders to ensure cabinet approval is made as soon as possible to allow for continuity of government programs. Prime Minister Omar Abdirashid Ali Shamak is expected to present his new cabinet list to the federal parliament for approval in the next 